Hi there, my name is Robin and I'm coming to you today from quiltingintheloft.com. As you can see, I'm in my studio, my loft studio, and I'm here to talk to you about some projects I have coming up at quiltsocial.com. One of the projects, or actually three of the projects, are pencil cases for back to school. So if you have some young children that would love, are getting excited about back to school and would love some pencil cases, I have three projects coming up for that week on quiltsocial.com. And today I thought I would talk about adding some zipper poles. And so I have these really bright colored zipper poles, which add a sort of a funky, fun, uh, creative element to uh, any pencil case. You can use them on it pretty well, anything that you'd like to on a bag or just to add a little embellishment to something. Um, so I'm gonna demonstrate that shortly. And up next, we'll talk about the supplies that you need. So what you need today for today's project for these gorgeous little zipper poles is a pair of basic snipping scissors. I have anchor gold plated needlepoint needles size 22 but you could also use wool needles or a larger needle just needs a bigger opening on the end it doesn't need a sharp point because you're just going to be wrapping with it and I have the Elan uh, little uh, I call it a lobster clasp there's a d-ring that comes with it we're just going to set that aside because we don't need it right now and then I also have some floss. Now you, this is cotton. You could also use um, just regular embroidery floss, a hand embroidery floss. Um, and I'm not sure what different types of materials it comes in, but you can use any kind of embroidery floss. These were made with uh, regular embroidery floss. So today I'm just working with cotton, okay? I'm back again and I'm ready to go with my zipper pull here and so what you have to do first is make a mop so this is my mop and i'm going to show you with a piece of thread how i did that i just took a big long uh, well actually about this is about half of the whole skein of embroidery floss i still have a bunch like this left over which i'll have to untangle and use for another project and so what you're going to do with it is just like you're wrapping a cord you're going to do about a five and a half inch length and go back and forth and back and forth and just kind of make it into a long mop, I guess is what I would say, just like you would wrap up a cord, okay? And then once you get it into your long mop, you're just gonna lay it down like this one here, okay? I'm gonna set that off to the side and I have gotten ready skeins of thread on my, my uh, needles on my ballpoint needle. And I'm gonna take it now, I've got three of them. So I've got the blue, the yellow, and the red, because I'm doing these primary school colors because one of my pencil cases for quiltsocial.com is actually a um, school bus. And I thought these primary colors would look great. And then the black kind of represents the tires on the bus. So the mop is this part. So if you're picturing it, it will go like this and that'll be part of the, the mop at the bottom and we'll cut it and fray it and all that nonsense later. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you do it first. Um, and so we're gonna take our mop, which I have here, move this Elan card out of the way, keep this with us handy. And just gonna wind the thread around it and tie it just like you would anything else. I'll get these threads out of the way. So tie it tight in the center. I try to make the mop as easy, even as possible on the sides. It makes it easier for later for cleaning up. You can just wind your floss around and then kind of wind on top of it. Now, 
as I'm winding on top of it, I'm going to grab this lobster claw with my needle and kind of tie it in place. And I'm going to use this long tail end to tie it off. Tie it in place and don't worry about the tail because you're going to tuck that tail in with wrapping. I know it's got a double knot on it now, so it's going to be secure. And then I'm also going to go back through the lobster claw and make sure it's double and triple secure. And back through it again. And back through it again. That lobster claw is not going anywhere. You can do this as many times as you want. It's really your personal preference and it depends on the strength of the, the cord or the floss that you're using. And I'm starting to wrap the body of the mop. So as you can see, I'm not going through the center of the um, zipper pull. I'm basically going around it and I'm just wrapping that embroidery floss. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed up the video so you can watch me do this, but it'll be in sped up fashion. We'll talk to you soon. As you can see, we're almost done our uh, zipper pull, except for I wanted to add a little bit more yellow on this side. I kind of find it works better if there's three colors on one side and three on the other. And really all of this is about is just a case of tying and wrapping. So you're just wrapping this mop that you have and um, sort of tucking the, the tails and or wrapping over top of them. It's really not that involved. It just feels a little fussy at first, but after you've made five or six, it's pretty easy. So I'm going to tie the last little piece because I want to show you how we finish this off. And I'm just tying it like you would anything else. And you can see that there's, I think you can see that there's a little red tail here. Right there. We're not going to worry about that. Like you can cut that off right now if you wanted to, or you could wrap over top of it. It's really not that fussy. So I'm just going to keep wrapping so that you can see. And it's a very forgiving project, so. Can you see that okay? Can you see what's happening? It's kind of neat. So then what you're gonna do at this point is bring our little legs of the mop together. This will be the head, <laughs> this is the body. And we're going to tie it together and that's what's gonna Kind of bring the whole thing together and it's gonna make it look better and finished. I'm back and I have my needle threaded now. And so I'm just gonna keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. And then I'm going to kind of tie it off with my needle. And I'll cut off the excess. I know it's secure. And then with the mop, I'm just gonna cut the mop where I feel like the shortest spot is. And there was some red thread in there as well. So I'm gonna get rid of all of that. And anything where you see it's still looped and you don't want it to be looped because you want it to fray out nicely, just cut that. Just kind of trim it up until you're happy with it. And 
I'm just gonna play around with the strands until you're happy with it as well. And I would say go tighter rather than looser. I was a little bit loose on this one and I could see where I've been loose. So make sure that's one tip is just to make sure that you wrap them fairly tightly, but there you have it, it's done. Thank you for joining me today when I talked about my zipper pulls, my fast and easy zipper pulls. The sky's the limit for color. Have at it, have a great time with it. And I just want to show you my little project from Quilt Social. It's a little school bus uh, pencil case. And as you can see, this little zipper, zipper pull looks really cute with it. Um, you could check out quiltsocial.com on August 16th to 20th, 2021. And you'll see my whole tutorial all week with three different pencil cases. This is just a little teaser. I'm hoping that you'll join me there. Also check out my website at quiltinginthelof.com. I'll list my links for social media below and as well, any product information. I hope you have a great day. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you stay so happy.